Hello guys, today I'm going to review the G-Shock Mup Master. Um, the code is GGB100. Let's get into it right away. So as a Mup Master, um, there are a lot of functions uh, which are unique to this watch. So you can see on the side there is a sensor. Um, you can actually check the temperature the barometer and if you press the display button you can see the whole 24 hours um, change during the day uh, you got a dedicated button on your right hand side to see the, the compass and altimeter so you can turn it around and see it always showing one direction which is north and the current altimeter figure is 97 meter. And if the uh, analog hands are in the way of the digital display, um, you can actually hit the light button uh, along with the mode button to move the hand uh, on the top of the watch, uh, either on the right hand side or the very left hand side so that it won't cover any of the digital display. So you can see those figures clearly The light is uh, very bright uh, and it's in a uh, white color instead of the traditional yellow color. And not only the uh, analog dial will be uh, illuminated, but also um, there is a, another separate backlight uh, for the uh, digital display uh, as well. On the side, here is the sensor, and you can have different color variation. Uh, for different models, uh, I prefer the red one. Uh, the whole watch housing it's uh, it's not made in plastic. It's actually a new technology called the carbon core guard. Um, so basically, it's uh, using carbon reinforced uh, resin to uh, to build a watch. So it's pretty durable. And on the ring, you can see they put some real carbon fiber in it but I believe it's just for decoration rather than um, making it tough. Uh, it's a Bluetooth watch as well, so if you hit the send, uh, connect button, uh, it will actually connect to your phone. Um, you can see there's an error message because I haven't even turned on the, uh, uh, the phone app. You have to leave the app running in the background to be able to connect to the watch. So now I turn on the app in my in my phone and then I just need to long press the connect button the first one is time so you can do like a Bluetooth timekeeping so that you can synchronize with your, with your phone so your time will always be correct and if you long press that will link it to the app so after you link it to the app um, there are a lot of functions that you can perform. So now it's showing it's connecting to the phone. So here it comes the app. Um, the function is a little bit overwhelming. Um, you can see I only use two of the functions in the watch because uh, the rest of them I just never already use them. Um, and you can choose display as well. You can display a lot of information, uh, but I happen to only choose two of them. Because you know, going through the menu is not an easy thing. Uh, it's better to keep it simple so that you only use whatever you need to use. Um, so you can go through the function pretty quickly.
without going through a lot of unuseful um, function. So one of the criticism is this watch they don't offer as tough solar. Um, but replacing battery for this watch is pretty cheap. Uh, I bought it for six dollar uh, for two batteries, um, and, and it's relatively easy to replace the battery yourself. Um, so I don't really mind it. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.